Today, we're going to be looking at my top five favorite plugins for After Effects. Let's hop right into it. Starting at number five, we have Deep Glow. It's priced at $50, but I guarantee you guys it is worth it, especially if you do more of those trippy, colorful, night of esque edits. We're going to go and throw Deep Glow on this clip right here, see how it looks. As you guys can see, it really just makes everything glow, and you have a lot of settings you guys can mess with here. Play around with the radius, you can play around with the exposure, threshold, and then even the blend mode. I highly recommend Deep Glow because it is pretty much the best glow. Moving on to number four, we have Dehancer. Dehancer is a film look plugin that has grain, halation, bloom, and a bunch of filmlets built into it. We're going to go and drag Dehancer on this clip here and get into how it's used. So once I drag it on, as you guys can see there, it applies that basic LUT. We're going to go under the film section here and we're on Kodak Vision 3 right now, but it has all of these LUTs here. And this is my favorite part about Dehancer. We're going to go into input and then source. We're going to click choose camera. Now I don't know what camera Cole shot this on and it's obviously already colored as the music video is already out. Let's say for example, you're using a Sony a7S 3 We can go and select our camera here and the picture profile we shoot in, and it will actually match the log perfectly. Once you're done matching your log, you guys can pick your film look here, and then going down into film grain, you can enable it and play around with the size, the amount, the shadows, the midtones, the highlights. Going into halation, if we enable that, going to mask mode, you guys can see kind of the red outlines that go around things. So let's focus on this area here. We'll turn the mask mode off, and you can kind of see the red areas that peek out to really get that film look. And going into global diffusion, you guys can turn that up, and local diffusion as well, and then amplify to really gets that look going. And then going into bloom, we can enable that. And it's just gonna wrap low around the edges and you guys can amplify that there however much you want. There's a vignette down here to give yourself that really cool border. And there's also a LUT generator where you can export these LUTs that you guys save and use them later on. So this is with a Dehancer effect and without it, I think it really adds a cool look. For Adobe, you guys can get Dehancer on Premiere Pro and After Effects. If you guys wanna go get yourself 10% off Dehancer right now, it'll be linked in the description below. Moving on to number three, we have RSMB. If you guys don't know what RSMB is, it's motion blur to add on top of your footage. I think it's really good for the night of esque colorful edits, which I mentioned before in the video. And it's also really good for compositing stuff like 3D, water, fire, or any compositing stuff just like that. We're gonna go ahead and put RSMB on here. I recommend going with RSMB Pro. We're gonna drag that on our footage and boom, as you guys can see, look at this area right here with the car. It already adds the motion blur and the amount it gives you at first is 0.5. But once you bring something like two, you can really get that motion blur. So I'm gonna play this through for you guys. You can really get that motion blur, see before and after. I recommend leaving it at 0.5, but it really brings your edits to life and blends everything in a lot better. Moving on to number two, we have Red Giant Universe. Now, I've been rocking with Red Giant for about four years now, and I highly recommend Universe. We go into After Effects here and we search Uni Dot. It's gonna show us everything that Red Giant Universe comes with. And as you guys can see, there's a whole lot of stuff in here. I'm not gonna go over every single little thing in Universe. My most used ones are Heat Wave, which when you drag and drop that on, it adds a warped fire effect. So let's turn the wave type up. You can turn the blur amount up. We'll play that through. It's kind of like when you're in the distance and you see a fire and it kind of warps your vision. Cannot forget Uni Glow. This is probably my second favorite glow behind Deep Glow. You guys get the point of a glow. Under the Universe Distort section, there's a lot of unique stuff in here. Chromatic Aberration is really cool because you can get those blurred edges and stuff like that. Prism Displacement is also super unique. It looks kind of weird at first, but the more you guys play with it, you can get these really cool looks, especially if you add different effects layered on top of it and you keyframe it. And then RGB separation, pretty basic, but moving on to number one, guys, I could not give the spot to just one program. I'm going to have to go with two. Two are tied for the number one spot. This is going to be Sapphire and then separately Element 3D. Now we're going to go ahead and get started with Sapphire first. If you guys have heard of music video editing, you've probably heard of Sapphire. We're going to go up here and search S underscore and everything Sapphire is going to pop up. My favorites in Sapphire are the flicker, the glow, the distort chroma, the glint, and lens flare. And you guys cannot forget shot fire shake. Starting off first, we're going to drag and drop the store chroma on this clip. It's going to load for a sec, but you can really play with the amount and keyframe them to get some insane looks. This effect is heavily used in the editing community right now, and people use it for like the warp explosion backgrounds and stuff like that. You can rotate the warp. If we turn to something like that, you can rotate it around and really get a trippy psychedelic effect. We're going to drag and drop glint on here next, and this really just adds stars and shining stuff. So we can see the Lyrical Lemonade logo here on and off, and then top of his jacket here on and off. You guys can play with the brightness. I think Glint's really cool every once in a while to composite some things in and to add a really cool effect. Now, Sapphire Flicker is a goaded effect here. As you guys can see, 
it makes the video flicker and you guys can play around with the amplitude to really get a unique effect that you guys want. We cannot forget about Sapphire Glow as well. Although it's not my favorite glow, it's a classic glow. It's not as strong as the other one. There is a lot more settings to customize in it. And you guys cannot forget about Sapphire Shake. We're gonna drag and drop it on there. It is a little insane. You guys do have to tweak the settings to get the look that you want. But once you do that, you can get some really cool, unique looks. Be on the lookout for Brian's Shake Sauce. I've tested it myself and it honestly is better than Sapphire Shake, but I'll have a video coming on that soon. All right, and like I said, tied with Sapphire, we have Element 3D. The way Element 3D works is it allows you to add and composite 3D objects into After Effects. You can track them to your scene, duplicate them, and you can do a whole lot of things with Element 3D. It's what I use to do all the 3D in my videos, so I highly recommend it, and that's why it's at number one. You guys are just gonna go here, right click, create a new solid. You can call it Element, and and we're gonna search element in here and we're gonna drag and drop that on the solid. Now, once you have that set up here, you're gonna have this section. We're gonna have scene set up group one through five. So we're gonna open up scene set up here and boom, we have the whole layout here. You can import 3D objects in with the import button. You guys can go down here to presets and add textures to them. You guys can create objects in here as well. So let's create this sphere and add a chrome texture onto it. We're gonna hit okay. And now going into custom layers, for example, go to custom texture maps. We can make the custom texture, the music video in the background, go back into scene setup, click on the sphere, go to the texture and change the environment to the video, hit okay. And boom, you have this sphere that is replicating the background. And there's a whole lot of render settings in here you can change the lighting, the shadows, the reflection, the motion blur, the glow. You guys can rotate the physical environment. There are so many things you guys can do in Element 3D, and this is really just the tip of the iceberg. If you guys think I missed something, make sure to tell me in the comments and let me know your favorite plugins for After Effects. If you guys want to see a video on Premiere Pro, let me know as well in the comments. I recommend checking out this crazy 3D text effect. And I also just did a video on color grading a music video for CanCan. -Can. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.